The free agent signing period has begun. This was day one. This is Sports Center. Dan and Holly with you, but we begin with a deal that really had nothing to do with free agents. That's right. The Edmonton Oilers are now completely Smith free. They got rid of their captain, Jason Smith, along with Joffrey Lupul. That's right. No free agents. An actual trade on free agent frenzy day. Yanni Pitkinen, Jeff Sanderson, and a 2009 third round pick heading to Edmonton with plenty more on this one. Ryan Rashad. For seven full seasons, he patrolled the Oiler blue line. Jason Smith's hard-nosed, no-nonsense approach to the game made him a fan favorite in Edmonton. Oilers GM Kevin Lowe, in dire need of a more offensive presence on the back end, was loath to give him up. The type of guy he is and the way he's played for the team for many years. But, uh, you know, this is, I guess, in some ways a, a new, be new beginning for the team. We've got a little younger and uh, we're working on improving our back end. You know, anytime you see uh, a team make uh, make changes like they have uh, in this offseason is, is something that uh, they're looking to obviously improve on last year's season and, and uh, obviously move forward. And they're a team that's got a great uh, a great past of, of having uh, good teams. And, and obviously that's uh, going forward in the future of what, uh, what I want to be a part of. When you go to Game 7 Stanley Cup Finals one year and then you miss the playoffs the next, uh, you know, you want to do everything you can. You want to know the management is doing everything that they can to, to, to bring in, you know, as much talent as it's going to take for us to get back there. In Pitkin, in the Oilers acquire a highly skilled young talent that took a step back this season. 43 points, but minus 25. He has huge potential, but comes with a few question marks. And uh, unfortunately, have to give up quality to get quality, so... We hope that uh, uh, Yanni Pitkinen and Jeff Sanderson will be uh, good additions to the team. In letting Joffrey Lupul go, the Oilers give up on the potential he showed two seasons ago in which he scored 28 goals. But he never seemed to be comfortable in Oilers' silks, and his 28 points were a big disappointment. It's a new environment. It was a bit of a rough season for him last year, but uh, he's big pedigree. We liked him since his draft year. and and. Um, yeah, in terms of uh, Joff, I'm sure he's going to go on and have a good career or continue a good career in the NHL. Could we ask the owners also announced on Sunday the signings of defenseman Dennis Grebishkoff and Dick Tarnstrom. Now, Tarnstrom, too, has some offensive upside. His best season in Pittsburgh was 03-04, where he had 16 goals and 52 points. Clearly, the Oilers were looking to upgrade their skill on the back end. Clearly, they paid a price to do so. Ryan Rashog, TSN, Edmonton.